Have you ever played hide and seek with a ghost? Posted in April of 2020, this footage shows you can run but you can't hide. Entering a disused building at night, which appears to have been an office building of some kind, this brave soul navigates the deserted place with rooms littered with debris and office chairs overturned in the hallway. The guy filming seems to sense the presence of something unseen. He addresses it, but nothing makes itself known. Looking up and down hallways and around corners, he decides to ascend the stairs. On the second level, an overhead fan is spinning. With no electricity on, this movement is incredibly eerie. He calls out again to whatever presence is in the haunted building, before tentatively walking up the rest of the stairs and turning the corner to another hallway. He exhales audibly in relief after finding the hallway empty. As he walks down the hall, with small scraps of paper scattered everywhere on the floor, he hears a sharp click. He kicks a door from one of the adjacent rooms open. Checking all corners of the room and behind the door, he finds no one and nothing in there. He runs to the opposite room, also kicking the door open and entering it to find it empty, apart from furniture. He returns to the hallway, looking back and forth several times before continuing down the hall. As he turns another corner, scanning the next hallway and its rooms, he screams as an office chair glides past behind him. <laughs> When he turns to enter a room, he kicks the chair away from him, but moments later the chair moves again as he continues down the hallway. Now the noises really escalate. There are bangs and sounds coming from every direction. As he walks past a room, the door slams shut. He enters the room and a window slides open. More sounds bang all around, causing him to race out of there for his life. As he arrives at the stairwell, a loud screeching is heard, like tables being moved around, only the screeching doesn't stop for a long, long time. After watching this footage, one thing's for sure, this haunted building is not for the faint of heart. A YouTuber named Frosty Flakes is searching for elk in the woods of Imnaha, Oregon. Oregon when his elk whistle attracts a pack of hungry wolves. Soon they find themselves surrounded and have to step carefully. They are way outnumbered and the wolves sound very close by, ferocious and closing in fast. The wolves are exactly on opposite sides of us. Every time they stop to gain a sense of direction, they can hear the wolves combing through the area where they just were. And I think this is where the pack decides not to pursue any further and lets them off with a warning howl. They sound close enough to charge the entire time, yet hidden so well in their surroundings that you would never know where to even look until it was already too late. Nothing like an old village to cruise for some ghosts. Published in September of 2015, this footage purportedly shows a ghost near some old village homes. It's unclear where this video was shot, so it could be any old village anywhere in the world. Let's explore it. The clip takes in the surrounding area of these homes. Nothing appears out of place, although the homes seem to be abandoned. The camera follows some birds on a roof before panning down to capture some ants on the ground. The shot pulls up from the grass and mud and pans around the area. That's when you see it. Too quick to make out any details, an apparition in all black appears on screen for a brief moment, standing off in the distance on some pavement. The figure is still as the shot moves around. What is this? Do you think it's a ghost too? That's at least what the uploader claims. 
Many have debated whether it is or not, and with no other footage, it will most likely remain a mystery for the foreseeable future. In January of 2018, this emergency message was broadcasted to everyone in the entire state of Hawaii. A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. This is not a drill. What's more alarming is how everyone seems to ignore the emergency directions that are instructing them to pull over. Bethany and the vehicle in front of her continue to drive, even when told by the radio to stop. Although, to be completely fair, they could have been on a one lane road with nowhere safe to pull over. If you are driving, pull safely to the side of the road and seek shelter in a building or lay on the floor. We will announce when the threat has ended. The broadcast puts the entire island into a panic, and I feel like this live stream video summarizes everyone's reaction perfectly. The first stage is a sort of disbelief and the need to confirm it's really happening. Oh gosh, what happened? Did you guys get that? Did you not get that? There's an emergency ballistic missile threat. The next stage is acceptance that this is real, which leads to scrambling for a plan, even in the face of total obliteration. Oh my god! What do we do? And the final stage is panicking at the realization that all hope is lost, that your life is about to truly end, the urge to run somewhere, anywhere, sets in even though it's clear nothing can be done. Babe, what do we do? Do what? As it turns out, this broadcast was a major mistake made by staff at a military command post. There was nothing this time, but based on these videos and countless others, I don't think we would really do as well as we would like to think in the face of an actual catastrophe. Exploring an abandoned apartment building has gone wrong for these ghost hunters in Bangladesh. kitchen. In the corner of the room stands a figure with long black hair over its eyes that sends them running out of the building. It's freaky, but it looks more like somebody wearing a store bought costume than a ghost sighting. It's creepy, but I'm not quite convinced that it's a real apparition. Are you? You might want to avoid this forest because it's apparently home to Brain Hungry Zombies, published by Adiant in October of 2021. A man appears completely lost in the thick foliage of a forest at night. As he's walking, a terrifying noise is heard. <sighs> He continues periodically calling out to whatever awaits him in the dense trees. Hello? Nang? Oi! Nang That's when he sees this. Something lying in the dirt crawls out, obviously to feast upon his brains. The man turns around and races out of the forest in fear. At one point, he is knocked to the ground. He looks around, whimpering in the darkness, but doesn't see anything around him. Did the zombie give up, or is he on the verge of an ambush? This church is apparently haunted. YouTube team Signs and Signals return to an abandoned church that's haunted them since one of their first paranormal investigations. First, they head to the cemetery to recall where they saw this. And yep, right over there. Went straight to that bush. It looks like an extra large bat, maybe a vampire mid transformation. As they're checking around the bush, they hear something come from the church. Well, people were saying it was going in the bush. We checked it plenty of times. Phil? That was. You know what that means. 100% in the church. They approach and peer in through a window. 
I swear. Door. I heard the door. The door. Yeah, I swear to God, I just heard the door do something like something knock on the door. Something is in there, but they have yet to see it. When they near the door, they find it open. You better come on around from there. Come on. And Once inside, the creepy feeling escalates. I already feel like I'm like being stared at everywhere I look. Where, how long? As long as it takes. As Dale is talking about the last experience he had here, a light behind him flickers. I start feeling all weird and like hot and everything and start getting oh, yeah. all mad and stuff. But behind you, Dale, behind you. Light, 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 light. It's not the same one. Is this real? It's it's not that light. It, it was it's not the same one. When they approach the spirit, it makes its presence known. You knock a book over. Did you hear that? I thought that was you. No. Are you serious? Yeah. They investigate further, then they capture this. Oh my Dale. Please tell me you got that. Right? I, did, I did. You got? Do you got that? I did. I did. There's something in this church, and they don't want this paranormal team trespassing. Not at all. Freaking cool and pretty clear, and it's so. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my Dale, see, I, I told you, it's the piano. It's the piano, dude. Oh my! In my opinion, it's time for them to leave this place, especially after they manage to photograph this. That terrifying shadow sends the coldest of chills down my spine. Without a doubt, this place appears haunted to me. Imagine playing hide and seek with a mysterious cult. Published by Lego Papa TV in March of 2020, this scary video shows a cultish encounter at a house where lives were taken. Lego arrives at the house that he plans to explore on this fateful night. It looks 100% haunted. He tours the house, arriving at a bathroom in which he says the 71-year-old woman who lived here would take the lives of her victims. He says she buried them in her backyard. As he's about to head upstairs, he hears something, but he assumes it was just animals. Once he gets up there, though, he hears more noise. Hello? While using the spirit box on his phone to try and communicate with the passed away in the bathroom, he sees a flashlight beam hit the wall. When he turns around, he sees many beams of light, and he thinks it could be police, other urban explorers, or maybe something even more nefarious. So he rushes upstairs and hides in another bathroom. Shortly after, he sees flashlight beams on the wall and hears footsteps. They apparently don't see him. After waiting in the darkness for a time, he sneaks downstairs, and while in the basement, he hears more evidence that he's not alone in the house. Footsteps sound on the floor above. He gets out of there as quickly as possible and does manage to escape. When finally safely outside, he turns back to look at the house. They are looking for him, whoever they are. Lego writes, this is probably the scariest moment of my life. I have no doubt about that. One day, a student named Ella got her entire hand stuck in a paper towel dispenser. I'm not sure how she did this and neither do her classmates. All I know is she seems majorly stuck and nobody can free her hand for the entire video. Pulling her arm doesn't help and seems to only make things worse. My question, besides how did this happen, is what can be done to get her out? 
I'm thinking an ambulance probably had to be called to dismantle the dispenser, or at least take it off the wall, but we'll never know for sure because the video is only a minute and 16 seconds long. A strange creature straight out of the Lord of the Rings was caught on camera in the woods. Published by SEOOSST in April of 2022, the video appears to have been captured at dawn. The cameraman is walking through the woods. As he scans the area, his camera passes over this tree trunk and spots this mysterious creature hidden within. The creature has long pointy ears, big beady eyes, and grayish skin. Frankly, he looks a bit like Gollum. Upon seeing it, the cameraman immediately runs off. Is this a cryptid? A gnome? Or is this Gollum looking for his precious? A YouTube channel called Exploring with Danny returns to a haunted chapel that has given him a bad feeling in the past. He is taking another look around when he detects shuffling in the next room over. What the was that? When he goes to check out the next room, it proves to be just as empty as the first. He doesn't see anything unusual and soon begins to record various plaques on the wall out of interest. Danny is looking over the names of soldiers when he casually sees something paranormal sticking out from behind a doorway. Ah! Oh my God! The scream in his throat sounds very real as he turns to find the unmistakable outline of a nun's head staring through him. It happens very quickly and it's hard to tell if it really is a ghost or not. Before you say fake though, first hear me out. The nun sighting happens at approximately 2 minutes into the video. Yet here you can see the doorway is completely empty at 1 minute 45 seconds, a full 15 seconds prior. The video appears to be taken in one continuous take with no editing. Therefore, I believe there is a strong possibility that this sighting is real. A TikToker named Brandy Sawyer is exploring an abandoned house with some friends and thinks she sees a ghost before they even get inside. It's standing in the center top right window, the vague outline of a person pressed against the glass. If you don't see anything, let me circle the head. Do you see it now? What's weird is that the windows above and below are clean, and even the top part of this window is clean too, and yet this one section is hard to see through and contains a round floating object, possibly a face, that seems to follow their moves. Chip Chen is the name given to a South Korean woman who was discovered by the website 4chan. They found her live stream one fateful day and proceeded to watch every moment of her life for years. What they found was both curious and startling. For one thing, Chip Chan would often pass out in strange positions for over 12 hours and then do things like barricade her door closed with whatever she could find. She rarely left the apartment and appeared to be in a lot of distress at all times. 4chan eventually came across her blog and found out that she thought she was being stalked by the local police. She even says that they have implanted a chip into her that allows them to control when she sleeps and how she feels. Here's a video of Chip Chan silently screaming as they supposedly activate her implants and mess with her mind. There's no evidence that any of what she is saying is real, and as of now, people either completely believe her story or else think that she has a serious mental disorder. It hasn't been on in a long time, but maybe someone can translate the text on her page and make sense of what she is saying. All in all, nobody has been able to track her down to talk with her, and her identity is unknown. All we know is that somewhere in South Korea, a woman was recording herself all of the time as a way of exposing her tormentors to the world. A man and a woman are enjoying a private plane ride when suddenly their pilot slumps over and becomes unresponsive. Watch the trees and you'll see the plane is really sideways and they are really freaking out. <laughs> It looks like she is going to take off her safety belt and jump when the pilot springs back to life and everyone starts laughing. Everyone but her. Do you think this joke went too far? I think there is a certain line between tasteful and terrifying that they may have crossed. 
And any prank where you fly with your eyes closed probably isn't the best idea. Meet the vloggers are vacationing in Dubai and simply having an awesome time. They are returning to their rental car after a fun-filled day, only to find a surprise twist waiting for them on the hood. This person, yeah, they must live in the apartment that we lived in to get in and take pictures. Do you know how close this is? Apparently, someone must have been following them around with a camera for the whole day. Each photograph has a completely handwritten message just for Yasmin. The last photograph labeled It's Me is completely blank. Some of these pictures were only taken a few feet away, meaning that whoever took them was close enough to grab her if they wanted to. I think that her husband Kel could be playing a joke on her, because he doesn't sound especially concerned about the whole thing. Listen to this part and tell me if you think he is the one responsible. I'm watching you, and then this picture here, it's me, just a blank one. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Emily Strange, this redditor wrote, Victorian child ghost from ring video camera. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Basic Palpitation 47 wrote, Just someone's kid. But how would they be on the inside of the gate? Emily said they don't have kids. So does that mean this was truly a ghost sighting caught on a ring camera? Which side are you on here? Let me know in the comments. This creature in the sky is unidentifiable, but it's got six legs. We originally came across this video on the Spanish speaking, scary video community in June of 2019. The thing appears to have a pin head, multiple crab-like legs, and finally wings. As you can see when it takes off from the tree branch it's crouched upon. The creature looks extraterrestrial. It's certainly something nobody has seen on Earth. Whatever it is, you don't want this monster hiding under your bed. We managed to track down the original source, and this turns out to be a CGI creature made by the Nicaraguan YouTube team, JJPD Producciones. So if you come across this video because it's spreading all over the internet, now you know its true origins. This graveyard in Michigan defies the laws of gravity and replaces them with the laws of the paranormal. There is a specific tree at the bottom of a hill that many locals believe is haunted. You can put your car into neutral at the top of the hill and the car will roll down as normal. Here's a quick demonstration. And now as you can see, with my foot off the pedal and the car in neutral, we're rolling downhill. That is what you would expect. But when you pull up to the cursed tree, and put your car in neutral, this is what will happen each and every time. We're rolling backwards up the hill. My, my feet, yes, my feet are off the pedal. Car is still in neutral. A strange force appears to be causing this man's car to roll backwards and climb a semi steep inclination. Not only that, but I think I hear a strange voice in the video too. Listen to this and tell me if you hear someone say something that sounds like the name Sarah. TV of a hotel cleaning service after hours captures an unexplainable event that leaves them scared and confused. The hallway is calm and still a shadow person runs up to the cart and then turns away leaving a faint trail behind. The CCTV ghost looks like it's a glitch, if you ask me or else special effects altogether. I wish that the camera was just a little closer, because then it would be much easier for us to tell. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.